active campaign review hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel in this video i'm going to be going over everything you need to know about active campaign and if this is the correct email marketing solution for you so let's get into it now active campaign not only provides you with email marketing but they also have marketing automation crm sales engagement and services and support so there is a lot you can do with active campaign now primarily most people use active campaign for email marketing and all you need to do is just enter your email address over here and click on start to your free trial so make sure to click that link in the description box below i have a link over there where you can get started with active campaign so once you click on that link and fill out your email this is going to be your basic dashboard now over here you're going to manage your entire email marketing structure so everything you need to know in regarding to your emails and your email marketing service or whatever product or business you are email marketing for or using this product for you can find all of that over here so on your left you have your navigation panel where where you can find everything related from contacts, campaigns, automation, deals, conversations, lists, sites, and reports. And then on your bottom, you have your account settings. You have different features that you can unlock for certain prices. And then you have your basic settings and applications. Now, it's very easy to get started with active campaign. I would usually suggest that first off, you go into your actual list. If you already have a CSV file of your contacts, you can add them over here. But if you don't, then you can definitely just go on over to your contact section over here and you can see right now i don't have any contacts but what you can do is we're just going to click over here so if you have a uh, contact list that already exists in the form of a excel file you can import that so you're just going to click on import and then you can import your entire file it might be from any other platform that you might choose but if you don't have one or if you're just doing your contacts manually you can just click on add a contact over here and then you can enter the first name last name and all of those details for your contact so uh, you can just add any contact that you want now once you have your contacts added you can manage them in accounts you have managed scoring you have managed tags you can do a list cleanup as well so if you have some certain contacts that don't reply to your emails people that are not opening your emails you can do a list cleanup and remove them from your database now below your contacts you have your campaigns and campaigns are one of the most essential parts of any email marketing platform now it's a pretty simple and easy a journey to create your email marketing campaign on active campaign and this is something that i find really useful because it allows you to do email marketing without it being too difficult for you to manage even if you're not uh, really aware of email marketing so you're just going to click on create a campaign at the top right over here and now you can choose a campaign type so let's say i just want a standard regular one-time email campaign or you can create automated campaigns you can create autoresponders as well depending on what kind kind of service you are providing or what kind of uh, customer journey you are on but we're gonna use this as a sample and we're just gonna continue with a, a standard regular one-time email campaign now I will just use this as a sample so I'm just gonna name it sample and then I am going to click on next over here once you do that what you're going to do is you're gonna add your list so I have a basic contact list and I'm just gonna continue with that it has one contact which is myself and I'm just gonna click on next then you're going to design Design your email so that is one of the essential parts of creating your email is choosing what kind of email you want now you can see that active campaign has a bunch of different templates which you can choose from so if you click on design templates over here these are already designed so you don't have to do any changes at all whatsoever these are very well designed so you can find some of the most basic ones over here and from sales to marketing anything related to any basic business uh, business journey you can find it over here and you can just edit the text and use that as a sample or you can click on basic templates over here where you can see they have like some spaces where you can add your own images and like it's drafted for you so you know where to add your text and where to add uh, other uh, images or other kinds of text and then you have layout email templates as well so this is just going to load you a layout where you can design it yourself and then you can also view any of your past campaigns that you can resend now if you are just beginning with email marketing i would suggest that you just click on design templates and edit a already designed template because that is going to save you the most amount of time and you're going to be able to find any kind of template so you can see we have announcement newsletters and you can choose to start from scratch but if you're still not happy with these ones, you can definitely just click on basic templates and I'm just going to use the coupon code um, coupon code template and I'm just going to add the subject uh, email subject, which is going to be get 10% off and I'm just going to click on continue over here. 
And now you can see over here that this has like these fields loaded for me where I can just and fill out these fields and my email will be ready. So if you have any logo, you're going to add it over here. If you don't, what you can do is change it to text. So you can just click on delete this if you don't want any of these blocks. I'm going to delete this and then we're just going to go on over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on insert over here. I'm going to insert a text block at the top and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add like a sample name at the top over here so i'm just going to drag and drop this and then what you can also do is you can obviously change up the design with line breaks and spacers if you want but what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert a spacer at the top and then i'm also going to add another line break to separate like the top section then I'm going to add this text block and then I'm going to add like the company name. So let's say I have a uh, fashion business like this. And then obviously you can change up the text or the logo accordingly. So you can customize that according to your actual logo if you have one, but I'm just gonna leave it as is. You can obviously add images or your actual logo image, but I don't have one and I'm just using this as a sample. So after you have designed your email and you can add any of these things. So like I just added spacers and line breaks, you can even add videos and buttons. And I would suggest that you actually add a buy now button as well if you're doing coupons. Any kind of item marketing, um, then you can definitely add buy now buttons in your email. Then you're just gonna click on next over here. And then you're going to have a summary of your uh, overall campaign over here like this. And then you can see your campaign has different options like open slash read tracking. So if you want to see if people are reading your emails or if they are just uh, letting them sit in their inboxes, if you want any analytics, if you want link tracking, reply tracking, campaign archives and scheduling. So you can even schedule your emails on active campaign, which is something that is definitely a feature I like to keep on because you want your emails to be sent at the optimum time. And it's best to schedule them when you realize that Usually people are going to open up their emails at 5 p.m. or any time that you actually think that people are going to open up your kind of emails. After that, you also have spam check and that is a good feature, which I found helpful when I was promoting my scrunchy business with email automations using uh, Active Campaign because that allows you to not be blacklisted by a lot of these uh, email companies. So that is something you need to always keep a lookout for. Now, after your subject, you have your pre-header text as well. So your pre-header text could be anything like uh now is the last chance to buy or anything like that because your pre-header text actually appears in people's inboxes you know that text that appears in gray below the subject when you open up your inbox that is the pre-header text so you need to make sure that it is actually something that is going to be uh, read by people so once you do that you're just going to click on save and exit and now you have your email campaign ready. So this is how easy it is for you to generally create emails and start up with your own email campaigns. Now, after that, you have your automations and automations. Uh, automations are pretty essential because nowadays you can't send like 50,000 emails just by uh, manual email sending. So uh, it's very easy and simple to create automations. You can just click on create an automation and then you can automate certain welcome emails, uh, coupons, certain things that that all most of your customers are going to do you can automate over here now this was just a overall review of the active campaign platform what are the different price points that you can get active campaign on so you can see it depends on the number of contacts you have the more contacts you have the higher the price but if you have a decent amount of contacts i usually like to use 1000 that is a sample the light version is going to cost you 30 dollars the plus version is going to be 50 dollars and the professional is 150 and the enterprise is 260 so Overall, you're going to get a good deal out of all of these. You're going to get some decent features with all of them, including automations, email marketing, and so much more. So make sure to check out the link in the description box down below to get started with Active Campaign, and make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I will catch you guys in the next video.